The Amazon rainforest spans nearly one and a half billion acres of South America. It is one of the most dense and diverse ecosystems on Earth, and scientists estimate that it may be home to as many as 80,000 different species of plants. The Amazonian soil is packed with nutrients that make this lush ecosystem possible. But when scientists took a closer look, they found something unexpected. Part of the reason why the soil is so rich is because it is full of dust. Dust from the Sahara Desert to be exact, which is about 3,000 miles away in Africa. So how did it get there? Well, it turns out the forces in the Earth's atmosphere are the answer to this mystery. We're going to take a closer look and figure out how. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explain how global convection patterns move air around the Earth and identify consistent wind patterns. Let's get started. The Earth's atmosphere is constantly moving. We see this movement when tree branches sway in the wind, and we feel it as a cool breeze. Every gust of wind is an effective movement in the atmosphere. But what is wind, and what causes it? Wind is the movement of air, and it's caused by the way heat transfers through the atmosphere. We learned in a previous lesson that heat is a type of energy and it moves through the atmosphere through three main processes. But as these three types of heat transfer work together, they don't heat the atmosphere evenly. Some parts of the atmosphere are cooler, while others are hotter. Let's recap the types of heat transfer. Radiation from the sun warms the ground, and the ground radiates heat towards the lower atmosphere. Conduction moves the heat between the ground and the gases in the lower atmosphere when the atoms touch, and convection causes air to move as it changes temperature, spreading heat energy around. Remember, when matter has more heat energy, its atoms start to move faster, and when they move faster, they spread apart. This makes warm air less dense than cool air, meaning warm air basically starts to float on top of cooler air. In other words, warm air rises and cold air sinks. And all that moving air is what we feel as wind. The winds don't typically just blow at random, though. They tend to follow certain paths that are influenced by the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is an effect we observe caused by the rotation of the Earth that makes things moving across Earth's surface appear to travel in a curved path instead of a straight line. Basically, the Earth's rotation and the Coriolis effect cause winds to curve around the surface of the Earth. In the northern hemisphere, they curve to the right, and in the southern hemisphere, they curve to the left. So consistent patterns of heating and cooling across Earth's surface lead to consistent wind patterns, and these patterns follow consistent paths thanks to the Coriolis effect. When this happens on a small scale, we feel a small breeze. Now, think about this happening on a global scale. When the entire atmosphere is constantly changing temperature, huge amounts of air are always rising and falling, creating powerful and far-reaching winds. Some of these winds are so constant that we've given them names, and meteorologists study them to understand global weather patterns. There are three main groups of winds that consistently circulate air around the Earth. The first are the polar easterlies. These are dry winds that originate from the cold air around the North and South Poles. Winds are also named for the direction they blow from, so easterlies blow from the east, then curve out due to the Coriolis effect. The next group of winds originates from the sections of the planet just past the cold polar regions. These winds are called the prevailing westerlies because they blow from the west. How do you think the prevailing westerlies interact with the polar easterlies? Pause the video here and record your answer in your guided notes. The prevailing westerlies circulate warmer air back towards the poles, 
while the polar easterlies blow cold air away from the poles. This convection cycle keeps air moving around our planet. But what about around the equator or the middle of the planet? The winds in this area are called the trade winds. The trade winds are warm easterly winds that circulate air around the middle of the planet. The trade winds have been known for hundreds of years as being consistent, reliable winds that are just about always blowing. In fact, that's where they get their name from. Traders and merchants who crossed the oceans in sailboats completely relied on the winds to get them to their destinations. Imagine how much easier the journey across the ocean would be if you knew you could count on the winds to carry you along. Consistent patterns of air movement create the trade winds that circulate the entire planet resulting in steady currents of wind that span the globe. These winds keep heat circulating around the world, which keeps our temperature consistent. They also influence ocean currents, weather patterns, and even landscapes. And as they travel thousands of miles around the world, they can carry some unique souvenirs along with them. When the trade winds blow over the dry and sandy Sahara Desert, they pick up tons of dust. And it turns out that this dust is rich in mineral phosphorus, which plants need to grow. The trade winds then carry this dust across the entire Atlantic Ocean. The Coriolis effect causes some of this dust to curve away and wind up in Europe or North America, but thousands of tons of it are carried over to the Amazon rainforest in South America where it enriches the soil and helps this incredible ecosystem thrive. Winds might start with something as simple as warm air rising and cold air falling, but they wind up having some pretty incredible effects on the interconnected systems that make up our planet. So let's review what we learned today. Now you know that wind is caused by convection, which results in warm air rising and cold air sinking. The Coriolis effect is caused by the Earth's rotation, and it influences the directions that winds blow. And the Coriolis effect combines with consistent heating and cooling patterns to create some consistent global winds, known as the polar easterlies, the prevailing westerlies, and the trade winds. Be sure to check out the practice questions and activities that go with this lesson to take a closer look at how air circulates our planet. And remember, in earth science as in life, you rock. We'll see you next time.